Hi guys, this is Candace. I know, typical, can't get my thing going. So, <coughs> let's see what came in the mail yesterday. And then I'll tell you about my <gasps> trip to the zoo and my little fight that I had <laughs> um, Monday. Because today is Wednesday. So, we have some little fun finds that came through. I don't know what's in there. Happy Mail Share and some ATC card swaps. So... <coughs> <clears throat> yep, I worked outside yesterday from 4 till 8, <coughs> cutting grass, spray painting the mailbox, and um, making sure there's no grass around the mailbox so they, the postmaster can reach it or um, put stuff in the mailbox from her vehicle that she claimed was not there. And I luckily, okay, anyway, let's start from getting it. Cynthia, this thing, caused a ruckus. Because Cynthia got a notice that um, it was unable to be delivered. And that, you know, first, it was a first attempt was attempted to be delivered, could not be delivered. So she sent me a note, and I was like, what? So I knew Monday I was going to go down to the post office. Well, before I could even get to the, you know, to my Monday thing, she sent me another note that said, <clears throat> it's saying it's being returned to sender. <clears throat> and, oh, I was fit to be tied. <clears throat> I know, too much grass, too much stuff yesterday. Too much pushing that lawnmower every time it got stuck. And when it, anyway, yeah. So, <laughs> um, <coughs> oh my gosh, sorry, y'all. So, I said, well, that's okay. I'm typed. I typed to her. I said, that's okay. I'm on the phone right now. And I did. I called first. And um, the girl that I talked to, Maddie, yet another new one. Because a lot of people have retired from there. So now there's like pretty much one-year-old new people. And then, you know, last year, early last year, new people. And this year, new people. And they all suck. That's all I got to tell you. Um, so I call and the lady's like, oh, well... I have no way of checking, you know, why it's being returned, whatever. You know, I went back there, I don't see anything. And I said, well, you can't scan it based on the tracking number that they used. And because I was, I was pissed. I said, I said, as a matter of fact, they even paid and sent a priority mail just to make sure they had a tracking number and blah, 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 blah. Which is a good thing because I'll tell you about the other ones too. And um, she's like, <clears throat> Well, I don't see anything. I says, can't you dig through the bin or whatever y'all have? Because it says on here, because when I track it, it clearly says being returned, it's returned to sender. Um, no such address. I get mail there all the time. That's my shop address. That's our, our CNS direct, our engraved gift store, our, you know, our old business address. You know, anything that's not us goes to there. Get it all the time. 95% of the time they put it in our house box or bin and that's what I told the lady on the phone and so anyway so and I told her I said because she realized that that answer wasn't going to be enough for me because I'm sorry she doesn't realize I'm a World War 7 veteran of fighting with that post office girl you want a war you got the wrong person so I told her says can't you go back there and check she says What's the tracking number again? Obviously didn't even track the crap, okay? Because if you'd have tracked it the first time, <coughs> you'd have written it down somewhere. <coughs> anyway, I didn't go there with her because I was, I was pissed. I was trying not to be bad, too awful horrible. But I had a pissy. I had to piss. They got pissy, Candace. Well, when I went down there, they had bitchy Candace. So anyway, so she goes back there. She looks. So I told her, so I could describe it to you because I could, you know, the picture Elka sent. Elka, geez Louise, <laughs> Cynthia sent, <clears throat> showed, you know, the blue pa packaging paper and everything like that. I said, you can't miss it. I said, it's got this blue, you know, flower, blah, 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 blah. And so she comes back. She's like, oh, well, there's nothing in the bin, but I did um, look it up and it says that it's was scan return to sender <clears throat> in the field. So it means the stupid because they have to, by law, attempt to deliver it the second time 
which means you would actually have to attempt to drive your ass to the mailbox. But, eh. um, and so she scanned it out in the field. Um, second attempt, unable to deliver, no mailbox. Or actually, it says no recept receptacle. So, I told that lady, I said, what time does she come in? Well, I don't know, ma'am. I said, well, I will be there at quarter till four because they they close at 4 15 so their drivers you know start coming back by then and i mean i told her says she says well i don't know if she'll be back then i, I said well i said she has to be back by six o'clock i said i'll be i'm more than happy to sit outside until six o'clock i said because this thing will not go back i said this is and i did i told her this is bullshit and i said we've played this game and i said i'm not playing it again i said you ask um annie and cheryl about me and golden hollow and and uh, so, I guess Annie had overheard it, and Annie's like, you know, I said something to her. And so she said, well, she says, I'll be here, and I'll give you a call when she comes in. You know, never called me. Anyway, whatever. So I made sure I was went to pay, you know, do my town running, um, the electrical bills, and just, you know, the basic stuff that I had to go do, and uh, got there at 3.45, and, you know, mailed out what I needed to mail out and then that oh, that guy that I didn't even tell you the story that's working there was like well you know because he had to have some smart crap to say and he's like yep today is my last day thank god and I'm like I'm like really he's like, yep he's like, I can't stand working here he, I mean he's just on and on and dogs how bad they are there which is true and uh <clears throat> but and so, you know, Annie's over there rolling her eyes at me because we had had a talk the other day when I went in there about, you know, him basically saying he wished he was dead. And she says, yep, she said, um, he's said that quite a bit. He's very vocal and the customers don't like it and they've complained. And so, because the thing is, is he's out of Nashville. The post office pays for you mileage, 38 cents a mile, okay, y'all, from where you're supposed to be stationed at to up to wherever you have to you know fill so he gets paid 60 miles one way 60 miles back from his wherever his post office is or whatever and he's bitching on top of his big high dollar hmm i've gotten i feel anyway y'all know I've, I've Ooh, this is a bad bad soapbox but anyway so but he is just, he doesn't need to be there. He doesn't need to, he doesn't need to have that job. I don't care if he was four years in wherever, overseas, within some whatever's going on with the military overseas, because he's very young. So, trust me, he was only in the military for four years. And let me tell you, I'm sure the military put him out because of his little sorry, pissy, pissy attitude. You think I have pissy? Oh, man, I am sunshine and rainbows compared to him. And, uh, and he's a big guy. And so, um, you know, I was like, oh, you know, that's good. And, and he's like, you know, he took my stuff and I did that. And I said, now, I said, I have a situation with, and I showed him my, I printed it out. I printed out Cynthia's two notes and I didn't print my last reply because it was kind of bad. So anyway, <laughs> I printed the two notes that she had sent me and in a picture of this thing. And I said, I need somebody to tell me where this package is and I need to find out where the driver is because I need to not leave today without it. And he's like, and he just went off. He's like, oh yeah, you know, they're this and they're that and that, and they don't do this. And they're that. that's another reason why I'm leaving. I'm glad I'm out of here. And I was like, oh my God. So yeah, that stirred up some crap in the, in the thing. So I stepped, you know, away from the counter and stood back on the side. And, um, I told him, I said, well, I will be here until this person comes in. I'm like, is Maddie here? She's the one I spoke to on the phone. Oh no, Maddie's gone home. I'm going to be there all, yeah, whatever. They, I, I hate liars, y'all. I hate liars. So, man up, just be honest. So, I'm waiting there, and then a lady from the church that we used to go to had come in, and and she was like, um, hey Candace. I'm like, oh, hi. Um, and she's like, do you mind if I give you a hug? I'm like, no, 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 no. I said, that's okay. And, um, you know, and she's like, I'm sorry about John. But then I start, I start tearing up. I'm like, oh my God. So this, you know, I just, uh, don't want to talk about it. So, you know, I told her, yeah, I was having a problem getting at my post office, at, you know, for them delivering something. And, 
And so, and I wasn't being mean. I was just chit-chatting with her over here on the counter, you know, where you got to, they have a counter where you can sign because she was shipping her these things that she was shipping out. And so this woman comes over here and my back is to the counter and she's like, I'm the driver and there's no mailbox there. And I was like, whoa, I mean, my head spun around and she got bitch canish right off because she came at me because that little freaking Maddie had obviously called them because they call each other on their phones and um, told her what was going on. And I had, I mean, driving down the driveway, I'm like, I need to take a picture of the mailbox. I don't know what made me take a picture of it. Yeah, granted, there's six weeds that, okay, are probably three foot tall, but literally six, not 60, six. And and the mailbox is there. It's black. It's underneath a tree. So it you it's but it has 1443 painted on it in white paint because the people that lived there before that's that's how they had it. That mailbox has been there since before we moved in and when we bought this property. That mailbox has been there over 15 years. So anyway, I I took the picture because for something just told me take a picture just in case because this is the game they play. So I drive down there, and, and she, I mean, she gets her little snooty butt with me. And I said, there is a mailbox there. She oh, no, there is not. I mean, that's how she's talking to me. I mean, there's people in line. And she's, oh, no, there is not. I drove down there myself today, and there is no mailbox there. And I said, hold on. Show her my, th that's, that's not there. I took a picture of it. You can tell. I mean, there's like moss growing on the bottom. I mean, it's, it's. It's an old, it's an old mailbox. It still works. The lid still shuts. I mean, it's still standing. I mean, hello. I, it'll stay there until it falls down. And clearly can see 1443 painted on there. I mean, I even took, a, now granted, when you were at our mailbox here at the house by the barn, and, you know, it's, I don't know how many hundreds of feet, maybe, all right, to 100 maybe 100 feet away. The only reason why I know that is because I've learned how much 100 feet is in, in our curves. So it's uh, maybe 100 feet. Maybe. Maybe. Not even that. 100 feet away. But when I'm in my truck, <clears throat> I can see it because, like I said, six three-foot weeds in there. Not all together. Just like one here, one there, one here, one. I mean, just, you know, tall grass. And because uh, I haven't cut it for two months. So... I show her that picture and she called me a liar. Well, round came out. And I said, this mailbox has been here. I said, you ask Annie and Annie's standing there. And Annie shakes her head yes, because I've played this game already with the old people that have been there. And you know, Annie is the last one of all the people that were, you know, in the last wars that I did for the first five years I lived here. And um, I said, that mailbox has always been there. She's like, well, is it accessible? I said, yes, it is. I drove to it in the little Sentra and I parked right there at the window so she could see that little car. I said, I drove to it right there. Well, I drove down there and I, I couldn't even turn around. I said, from the mailbox to the, the fence post where the, the horses are. Now, granted, that's got some weeds in it, um, but it's where the horses are and right here. But I said, that's where I back up. I mean, I'm like, you know, she's like, oh, well, it needs to be cut. Because now here comes, you know, the fifth lie of the day. Oh, well, it has to be cut and maintained so that way we can tell that it's safe to back up there, that it's drivable. I'm sorry. Looks, and I told her, well, pretty safe and drivable to me. I said, again, that little center out there, that's what I drove, turned around, backed up, and came back in. I said, y'all drive a big van. So she didn't like it. And then the guy's like, well, you need to write a letter that says um, to, for all these new people that are here. He says, because trust me, I'm, and, and, oh, and like I said, Annie's in the middle of it because the girl's here. Annie's at her little station. That guy's down there just running his mouth in, in my conversation, waiting on these other people. And he's like, yeah, you need to write a letter. He said, because these people here, they don't, follow, they don't do anything. Uh, you have to have it in writing, and that way they can put it on there. So I wrote it, and I did. I said, well, I've written those letters before, and I've brought um, pictures 
You know, that's why I have, and I said, that's why I have the three foot bin that you can put a dead person in. That's the reason why I own, own that $45 plastic bin that I had to buy because we played this game too many times before. I said, I am not buying another $45 bin to strap it to the tree that's out there just so somebody will leave it in there. No, the mailbox is perfectly fine. Perfect. You know, oh, I was pissed. I was fit to be tired. And then she wants to argue that, oh, well, you've never received 1443 in your, at yours at the 1389. I'm like, I got stuff in my front seat that I got out of the bin. I said, no, I did not take a picture to show you that that's where I got it from. She's like, well, you didn't get any letters in there. So, yes, I do. I said, matter of fact, my electric bill for the shop in the water is addressed to 1443. It always goes in 1389. And so, she finally, because she realized, I mean, I was pissed. Oh, my God. So then the guy walks out there and comes back. He gives me this. And he has these two also that were being sent back. One from Sally. One from Karen. Whoo, man. And I told that lady, so, so you mean to tell me you refused to put this into my mailbox? And this one even had thirteen eighty nine on it. Oh, my God. When I saw that, because she's like, oh, well, legally, she starts this, her, <laughs> legally, we can't put any kind of mail that's addressed to one address in another mailbox. Box. I said, you do it all the time. She's like, well, the other people here might know it, but I'm, I'm a sub. And I'm like, well, when you see that there's a mailbox there and somebody has been putting mail in from the 1443, which, like I said, is our shop, our business, our stuff. That's what I put on there and our, on, on my Facebook page, uh, everything. I put that on there. I mean, but anybody that gets something back from me, you know, and, you know, I stamp it with this address on there. So that way you have that. And, uh, and I looked at her and I said, um, I says, as a matter of fact, you were putting this one return to sender. It was back there because the guy said, well, I found these two in that bin. And, um. Uh, She's like, well, it's addressed to the wrong thing. We legally can't put it in there. And I said, oh, see, is she even put on here trailer? <laughs> I didn't notice that. And uh, I said, this one's got the house address on there, but you was just going to send it back because you was just in a mood. And um, and she's like, well, okay, that one was a mistake. Well, obviously, it's all a mistake. And um, and I said, you know, she's, well, whoever the new postmaster is, I don't even know her name. I want to talk to her because let me tell you, Jack got me for five years straight. And then a few in between. Because whenever there'd be a subby, we'd have some freaking problems. They wouldn't even put it in the bin. They would, oh, anyway. So, um, and then that one guy that's leaving, Nicholas, he's like, well, yeah, as a matter of fact, they shouldn't put any mail in that bin. And he, and I mean, and these customers are in line. And like I said, he's in the conversation again. And because um, if you, uh, supposedly, by, per the post office law, if you get a, a mail... A letter is supposed to go in the mailbox and if you get a package that does not fit in your big ass mailbox which this would fit in my mailbox that would fit in my mailbox in the bin so he said they are supposed to put it in the mailbox and only in the mailbox and I said oh I get crap in the bin all the time because they don't want to do the mailbox and then you know when they back up to, to leave the bins right there because they have to, you know, go into our thing to back up because it's a dead end down there. So anyway, oh, it was some hot, heated stuff. I was fit to be tied. <laughs> and, oh, I was just pissed. And so she was like, well, if you want to see, talk to whoever. She'll be here at 8 o'clock in the morning. I said, I'm not coming back up here. I said, that's my whole bitch. I, as the customer who, or the, well, customer, who is receiving mail that somebody paid to be delivered to me, not just a stamp, but you're still paying for it to be delivered to this address. It's your job to drop this thing off. And I mean, I, I got loud. And uh, cause boss fits me time. And she's like, well, I guess it's just something that they know and she already knows about, but no one bothered to tell me. I'm like, well, all you had to do is put it in the bin. I, I mean, I'm sorry. And um, so I'm like, well, how long have you been delivering since you're subbing? She's like, well, for the past week. And I'm like, well, you're the one that put these and my bills in my bin then. Well, she shut up real fast. So I was there for an hour. 
because I wasn't backing down because I'm done. I was over with it. So now, now you can, um, I know, and then I'm, I'm loud anyway, and I got louder on here because this, that really chaps my butt. So anyway, so yesterday I went out there, cut that grass, ran over some wire that was underneath the grass because people throw crap in there. And, um, you know, it got stuck. I couldn't, you know, it wouldn't turn over and it, it smoked and it made the same noise it did last time when I ran over that whole big old part of a car that someone threw down there. And, um, and so my neighbor, Jim, he's way over at his house working on his porch. He sees that I'm trying to, you know, I'm pushing it cause I'm pushing it out of the grass and, and it's not light, but I'm, I'm, I, I, I'm an expert at pushing that lawnmower front, back, tilt, towing, hooking a strap for the four wheel, which thank God I didn't need to cause the four wheeler's battery is dead. I have to get a new battery for that cause I had to push it out from underneath the porch to get the lawnmower out from underneath the porch to ride the lawnmower all the way down to do that. So anyway, so he comes over, he's like, he starts talking when he gets to where our, our gate solar thing is. He's like, you need some help pushing that back? And I'm like, I'm like, no. I said, I've ran over something. And he's like, oh. I'm like, yeah, I'm trying to look. I said, I see the belt still on there. Because I'm trying to learn how to do things, you know, to, to try to do the basics. And um, I said, but I can't tell if, if it's supposed to be wrapped around. Because I can see another, you know, thing where it wraps around there. It wasn't there. And so he looks and he thinks, no, no. He says that it, it's it's how it's supposed to be, and then I forgot that Jim told me that the you know the side where the the grass shoots out, you have to put a rock under there to hold it up when you're cutting you know this thick grass that we have so it can shoot out. And when he told me that, I was like, oh man, well the rock is in there now, and I actually put a E6000 on it so that rock will permanently be in there. So anyway. He, he lifts it up, and he's, he's like, here's your problem. I'm like, oh, man. So I told him, I, said, oh, I was doing so good. He's like, yeah, you was doing good. He says, you, you remember, you know, some of these things. He says, but you got to have. I'm like, I said, so we were looking for a rock. I found the perfect rock fixed in, in between there. It's wedged in there good. So anyway, he, you know, goes off, and I crank it and start doing, and, you know. And then by now, like I said, it's like, I don't know, I'm cutting around the, the front pasture so the horses can be in there, and then around where the water is because there are some weeds that are 12 inches tall around there and and i hate them they tickle my feet and you know because i'm allergic to grass <laughs> so anyway so i'm cutting all there and i'm driving i'm like well, let me just go ahead because it's you know it's dusk but i can see because i have the headlights on the lawnmower and uh so i'm driving up and down the hill well my handsaw because i brought a handsaw down there with me just in case i had any problems with some of these weeds because you know our weeds that tall grass does have like a half inch stalk sometimes. It's weird stuff. I don't know. And um, so I brought it with me just so I could, um, you know, make sure I cleaned everything around. That there wasn't even a 12 inch you know, piece of dead brown dry grass. I mean, I, you know, sawed, got all that done. And I had it in the top of the lawnmower and this little thing. And I had it wedged in there. And then I checked the mail. And there was a letter from, I mean, I'm going to have to do this one first. There was a letter from Social Security in there. And I was riding with it, riding with it, riding with it, doing so good, so good, so good. And then, uh-oh, that fell off the back of somebody's thing. And then I was going up on the little hill, you know, by the farm truck that's stuck down there because I have to buy two batteries for it. Because anyway, oh my God, it's raining dead batteries. I, I know it's been a while, but I got to get it done soon. And so I've got my little Social Security thing underneath where the the hand saw that folds shoved up underneath in the in the groove. I mean, it's rid with me for an hour, a good hour since I checked it on the way back. And so I was going up and down, up and down, and you know did all front of the pasture. And then I was looking, and I was like, oh my god, because the vibration, my hand saw fell out. Well, I couldn't find it. I tried to look, but it was getting, it was too dark. I have to go look for that on my way down. So, y'all. I received something from that stupid Social Security appointment that we had. And it's supposed to be some important information for me. But can you please help me figure out what it says? Yes. It fell off of the thing. It went smack into the blade. I know this is all grass. And um, so, um, yeah. So now... I have to bring this stuff to the Social Security office and tell them 
Oh my gosh, see, there's so much information on there. Now I have to drive back to Gallatin with this lawnmower cut up piece of stuff they sent me that I'm supposed to reply to once I get it, but I can't reply to it because I, uh, I can't read it because the lawnmower chopped the crap out of it. So at eight o'clock at night, and yes, it's dark. Oh, I'm out there trying to pick up all the white stuff that I could see in the grass, which I'm sure there's more, but I was, I was done. I was tired and I just wanted to go home. <laughs> so I gathered it up. I put it inside my shirt that I was wearing. You know how we take our, you could take that and then you wrap it and tuck it into your bra strap. So I had all this paper stuffed in there and had just my, you know, luckily it was dark and nobody was around and, and we weren't in a neighborhood because anyway, they were seeing my fat, my fat tummy. But, um, okay, it's not that bad, but still, <laughs> and then uh, some other stuff. And so, because I didn't want to lose it, because I still, you have to use two hands to drive that thing, you know, because it's, you know, doo -doo -doo -doo, until I got on the nice smooth driveway. So, this is my very important Social Security thing that, um, freaking lawnmower ate yesterday. Oh my God. So anyway, now back, back to what we're supposed to be doing. But what's the flipping odds, y'all? I mean, I saw it and I was tr and I was holding on because I was going up the hill and I was holding on and I could see it go boom, boom, boom. And I tried to catch it and I thought, oh, surely it will just like fall over the where the the you know the thingies up. No, it fell right there. Whoosh, out it went. Oh, I was like, oh my god. So yeah. That was the bad juju that the stupid post office gave me. Because I showed my butt. Well, I'm sorry. They deserve being... They did, they deserve seeing some of Candace. And let me tell you, they did not get all of bad Candace. They, they, there's a lot more in there. So anyway, now I got leaves and grass. Oh, y'all, I was so filthy. And I wish they wouldn't put these stencils and those things and bend it. Because now you got to put it underneath a, a, ben, a bench, a book. And no, I have not slept still. As you can tell. So if I sound like I'm drunk, it's because I'm sleep deprived. I try, but it's not working. Okay. So this is some, um, like, three layer. I thought it would be pretty in a Christmas journal on the pages. Where's, I know there's an end. I know it's not a seal meal. There we go. I found it. Oh. So I thought this would be really pretty on a couple of those journals that we're going to finish because it's got this be you know gorgeous on your page and then it's got two layers and I thought that would be pretty so I got a couple of those um oh two yards in each one I'm not measuring it because I'm not gonna try to fight and get it back in the hole it's just not gonna happen Darn it. Well, she'll just have to see. This is for my Aunt Judy, and it's broken. I'm going to have to repair him. Well, I'm going to have to go request a refund because it broke. Because she is um, gathering things up for a dollhouse that she's going to make. So I thought this would be a beautiful chandelier, but it's stinking broken. So now I have to write and complain <laughs> about that. <laughs> exactly. Oh, man. Let me tell you, those new people don't know who they got on their hands for this postal problem. And then there was another lady in there complaining about her postal carrier, who's new, because Annie was like, because Annie got her. And he's like, well, you know, they're new. And she's like, well, I understand that. But we've had this discussion. <laughs> and she was very much, you know, nicer than I was because this is her first experience. And let me tell you what, because she came from California. And, uh, girl, you better get used to it. So I have this. I thought this would be really pretty to go on the spine. Let's see. Yep, it's an it's a it's a yard. But so she's like, well, I want you to know that I'm gonna be filing a complaint and blah 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 blah. And I'm I'm to myself. I'm like, yep. And so when Annie was done with her, the lady you know was writing something on the side, and I looked at Annie and said, see, I'm not the only one. And Annie's like, nope. <laughs> but I was the first. 
I was before any of these people moved here from all those other places. <laughs> I was their first crazy city girl. And let me tell you, apparently there's quite a few more. Oh my gosh. Such an ordeal. I can't believe my little thingy's broken. Darn it. Well, that's what happens when you mail dimensional stuff in a, a stinking plastic bag. I guess I need to go put postal wine in my page. <laughs> and then this, I wanted to see what it looked like. Because it is kind of, I don't think I could put it on there. But I want to do a vintage and lace journal. That's on my, my, my wish list to do list but it's got pearls on there and everything so I saw that and I was like oh yeah that'd be pretty I know it's not it's white but we, we're gonna have to dye it a bit so it can be vintagey so that's my little Timu stuff and I need to leave that out so I can oh I gotta put this underneath my book so it can sit there for a couple of days and flatten itself out Well, it's six books. That's why I put my stuff under six nice heavy books. So, let me put him up. I know I got grass all over it. It always has grass because where they, they put it in the bin and it always has grass. I don't know how they get it in there, but whatever they do. I don't mind as long as you stick it in the bin where it's supposed to be. Oh, uh, Okay, then we have this. See? 1443 Golden Hollow Road. It says, leave at barn. I mean, hello. Trust me, they don't read that crap. But because I had a big problem with them. Because I do put that instructions on theirs just, just in case. And uh, anyway. Oh my God. I forgot. So I ordered these silly things. And it's from Global Land. They were $9. So they're full price. But they're stinking little gnomes that I thought would be so cute for like stamping on my envelopes and stuff. Because I know a lot of people don't like gnomes, but well, I do. So there's that one. Now let's see what's in here. <clears throat> I mean, that's. I don't know what the heck. It feels like a book. Oh, yeah. This was a freebie thing with one of their, you know, when you play at fish land and stuff. So we got to see what the heck. <clears throat> That's much bigger than I thought because I ordered some other stuff that turned out to be this size and you thought it was this size because it's you know sometimes they do use trickery on their photography and I swear they use like little one-year-old people's hands to hold stuff but yeah this is all bent and torn so well I might be asking them to send me another one because I'm sorry my stinking covers all damaged oh get off of me look at that I mean it's all tore up. I'll be happy to send them a picture of that in my little package that, I don't know, like I said. Oh, yep, look. Oh, look how pretty these pages are going to be. And they're sewn in, so I'll be able to take them apart. But that's going to be some pretty pages for journals. I love that. All right. Now, back. Oops. Well, oh, you can fall. You already hurt. So let's open Cynthia's, since she was the first one from Friday, and then the other ones were yesterday's that were going back. But anyway, oh, oops, hold on. There we go. Do 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 do. Please do not bend. <laughs> Please deliver. 
<laughs> More important than not bending, deliver it. <laughs> I cannot believe. And then that's what the lady told me. Well, you, you need to paint that mailbox orange. I'm like, why should I have to make my mailbox ugly just so you can see it's there? I mean, I'm sorry. Use your eyeballs. So anyway. I spray painted orange because I just happen to have some orange um, Rust-Oleum spray paint. So, and she's lucky that it w it's an old, old mailbox, not like ours, which is fairly new. Um, I went out there and spray, spray painted around the 1443. So now there's, it looks pumpkin. It's, it's flipping Halloween. So now it's all orange, except, you know, I left the rectangle. So it's black. And then, so the 1443 that was the original one that's been on there for, for however long is still on there. All right. Oh, no, we're not opening that yet. Looky at her little lace and too cute. Oh my gosh, look at this card. Oh, how pretty, pretty. Oh, look at that. She's got some stencils of some, I don't know, what are those? Oh, I can't, chrysanthemum? No, something. But, and then she's got little dragonflies. How cute. You are kind. Oh. <laughs> huh. She says the layered flowers on the ATC are from the from Timeless Crochet for You Etsy shop. Okay, okay. Let's see what we got. Well, <laughs> I'm trying to get in. I swear, I'm trying to open it. Oh, hopefully they're in, they got there in one piece. We'll see. She didn't. Hopefully, she didn't take it out. And, it didn't look like she took it out and ran over it. So, <laughs> oh, they are thicker than I intended them to be. I know. I didn't gauge or think for how thick some cards would be. So I've got to make another little journal. So it can close and look nice. So I'm going to do another one. Um, I did learn a couple of things from my first time ever making ATC. <laughs> Always corner edges and any stamping on the back should be done before decorating. I found it out the hard way. Anyway, I hope you like them. It was a fun challenge for me. <laughs> oh, yes, you do. You do teach yourself things when you do that because you're like, oh, oops. Look, she's standing with some flowers. Oops. I know I was trying to save it, but... <laughs> this end stuck, really stuck, and the other one didn't. Okay, fine. Oh, my gosh. I'm telling you. I'd have been arrested... If these went back to the ladies. Because <laughs> I went down there. And it, it would not have been good. <laughs> okay. Let's do this one. The thinner one. Uh, beauty and simplicity. Oh look how pretty. She did her little stencil back there in the green. And then stamped it with all her pretty little stamps. Oh. Did some Nouveau Drops, Pops of Color. There is beauty and simplicity. It's true. How pretty. And you even have a stamp, girl. What do you mean you've never done this before? you got a stamp. And you have little trading card sleeves. Which, you know, I did have some of those. Um, <laughs> from my son's Pokemon stuff. Oh my gosh. It says, Fine Beauty. All right, so this one is layered on papers to raise it. She embossed this and then went and colored over her little 
things and then stamped it. Oh, how pretty. Oh, oh, this. This has got gold. Either paint or rub and buff around there. Oh, how cute. I know, I enjoy, you know, after I did that bumblebee with the yellow, I was like, oh, the yellow was fun to play with. So now I get another yellow. Raw, 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 raw. Collect beautiful moments. Oh, I'm going backwards, even though they have one of ones and one of two. And here we go. <gasps> Ooh, look how pretty. Oh, she's got little dimensional flowers from Punches. How cute. She's got sequins in the middle, a pearl in the middle, and collect beautiful moments. And then that's a pretty little stencil back there. What kind of stencil one? Which stencil is that, Cynthia? I don't have that one. I have a large one of those, but I call it Moroccan. I have a large one, but that, that little one's pretty. Or is that on the paper? That actually might be paper. It looks like paper. I don't know. But Okay, let me stand up. Oh, let me take them out of the plastic things. I have to stand up and bring them close to you so you can see. All right. <clears throat> Look at there. Can you see? The little petals are all raised. How cute. And then this one. Can you see the... I'm trying to see if you can... Let me go over here. If you can see the embossing. But they're all... It's all there you go. It's all raised and she went around on, on the um, embossing. And then this one. Looky. How cute. Pretty shade of green. Is that fern green? <laughs> fern? Is that fern green? Oh, so pretty. Love them. Thank you, Cynthia. I know I can't wait to put them in our in our book. Well, these are gonna go, these are gonna go in the next book because I think after the ones that I just did, which were Linda's, I, I think I don't know. I'm gonna have to look. I have to look and see whose is the next one that's in line. To see if it's thin enough to go in there or do I need to go ahead and start another book oh, how cute I love them thank you Cynthia all right so now this one is from Sally Kurt ouch girl you lucky this didn't go back to you <laughs> oh I know I need to take a picture of the uh, mailbox <laughs> with all of its gangsta spray paint and stuff. I mean, my gosh. Okay. Let's see what we got. More tape. Ow. Where's my... There he is. Put in a different spot in there. Do, 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 do. Much easier to open it that way. <clears throat> oh, this is an... Oh, this is an order. Okay, well, it's... Not what I thought I was getting for the price I paid for it. Only got two. Yep, going to have to go reread the descriptions. <clears throat> hmm. Mm -mm -mm. Well, you know, once again, beware. This is from eBay, but they had a bunch like pictured and I honestly thought that you were going to get like that selection oh gosh that selection of them that they were you know thin aluminum things and whatever well no I paid five dollars per item so yeah I'm not happy about that so yep yeah. 
need to go on there and uh, and then she just oxidized it herself because I'm taking it off with that Windex but yeah Ugh. well yeah gotta definitely need to read all of the information the fine line details and stuff because I can't believe that anyway well well, that was a, a, a fun fine. Yeah, I won't say it was fun. <clears throat> it was a find, but... <clears throat> well. Mm, mm, mm. <sighs> anyway. <laughs> Lesson learned. All right, let's see what sneaky... Karen sent. Once again, it almost went back. All the way to Australia. Oh, don't cut the envelope. Whew, I got my hair partially down and it's too hot. Nice, put that back before I lose it. Yeah, because I'm going to go looking for my handsaw in the heat. I can't go out there whew, with half my hair down. Got up in a clip, you know, up on my face. And then, oh, anyway. Okay, what we got? <laughs> it says, this will be late getting to you, so excuse my delay. No, it's not. I just asked that it was postmarked by the 13th, that it left your house by then. Oh, uh, oh, she said back in 2017, I did quite a few ATCs, so I had to locate them so I could send you some oldies. There are four of them and two. I know I want to save this paper. <laughs> there are four, four of them, and there are two that I've completed since your video. It's been a long time since I did any mixed media projects. Hope this reach you in good condition. <laughs> it reached me, and uh, it's in good condition, but let me tell you, that woman isn't in good condition, that little subby. I guarantee you, I was her first, and she's praying her last person. Oh. There better be something in that mailbox. And let me tell you, the next time I receive mail in the 1389 that says 1443, don't you think I'm not going to take a picture of it. Oh my gosh. I know. I'm just trying. I just want, I don't want the paper. Oops. Oh, I think it's the whole thing. Well, there you go. It was taped to it. She did a Candace. So that's okay. Oh, so pretty. I know. Like I said, send me a million dollar gift. And I'm going to play with the tissues. Uh-oh. Oh, gosh. Okay. Let's see. 2017s. Okay, so let's get these. Oh, look at her little limited edition stamp. Why you make it so hard? <laughs> oh, because they like this. Oh my god. Oh my gosh. Oh, don't look. I oh, anyway. Okay. <clears throat> <clears throat> now that you got to see me fumble for real. Okay, so she did this October twenty second, twenty seventeen, spring. Oh, she did like doodles and washi and, and little sequin flowers the whole thing is doodled well I'll be darn I know I'll show you no I'll, I'll be kind I'll do it now look at that I better hurry up look at that it's all hand drawn oh how cute even the border mm, mm -mm. pretty 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 Karen 
see what we got here. This one's called Butterflies. Oh, look, it's a flutter one. The wings are up. It seems ordinary. What seems ordinary is often the extraordinary. Oh, I love that. See, I don't, I haven't gotten that far into mixed media per se that, oh, I love that. I would love to tinker and play. Oh, so pretty. Oh, now, you know that's not going to work. Okay, this one is called Shine On Me. Oh, look at that. She drew that, painted it, got some sequins, be authentic, got a little birdie and a branch and some orange cheesecloth. Oh, look how bright and vibrant that is. I know. See, now this is really going to challenge me to put them, you know, make pages. Oh, I know my brain's already hurting. I'm thinking. Days gone by. Oh, look at there. Oops, I can't see it. I mean, it's all layered. She's got, um, this one's got to be a recent one. Yep. <laughs> I'm like, that's new stuff. Oh, she collaged her little cards with the little small things from, um, the days gone by. She used the little, how I cut them out and used them and got a Tim Holtz lady. Oh, how pretty. Oh, and then this little raised house. Can you, I don't know if you can, yeah, there you go. You can see the dimension on it. Oh. Okay, this is this is another old one. <laughs> oh, look at the owl. Oh man, look at that raised stuff. Oh, anyway. Okay, so we have she painted back there. And this looks like oh, some paper or stamp. And then layered some paper. Oh, you can see the cards, a jack of spades. No clubs. I'm bad. Oh, embossed. Oh, my gosh. Look at that. Can you see? He's embossed. Oh, that's a good idea. And then this is some raised, I think, I don't know if those are letters or if it's stencil. Possibly some of that um, speckling stuff. And then discover, oh, how cute. Oh, my gosh. Look at that. Hmm. We'll put him over here with his other bright friends. And let's see what she did on the recent one this year. Oh, be grateful for blessings. Look at that. Yep, I need to play some more. Oh. That's that um, big flakes of... I don't know what they call it. Oh, look at him. He's pretty. Oh, I mean, see, look at that sparkle in there. Oh my gosh. Well... These are some beautiful lovelies that I got. So, that, and then we have Cynthia's. Look at this. Oh, let me take them out of the thing. The plastic. So, the pla plastic does not blind you. Oh. And then this one. Oh, how cute. All right, let's see if we can... Well, we need to put this one, this one, since they're this year's, and then these together, because they're way back wins. Oh, look at that. Oh, my gosh. I know. That, this, these bright things, that, that's going to challenge me for papers, but, you know, I do have some that are, that will complement it. Oh, my gosh. So, oh, how cute. Well... Thank you, Cynthia. Thank you, Karen. And thank you, crazy, whatever his name is, Nicholas, that went back there and brought these out. Because that other little woman did, wasn't bringing them out. Because I guarantee you she was going to put them in the mailbox like it never happened. But <coughs> <coughs> no, he found them. So, <laughs> but, oh, 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 wait, let me do this too. Hold on. This card. Let's see if I can scooch it. Scooch it. Scooch it. You can see it. All right. Oh my gosh. I know. Well, I hope I didn't get too horrible about the post office experience, but let me tell you what. Man, they're lucky I didn't come with a knife in both hands. <laughs> but anyway. 
Oh, and then here. My social security and very important letter that I'm supposed to. Um, pages. It looks like there's five or six pages that I'm supposed to read and do something with. Oh, my God. I couldn't believe that happened. Oh, oh yeah, yeah. So, anyway, um, y'all have a great day and a blessed day. Thank you so much for your, your little ATCs that you sent. Oh, my gosh. I know. We got to get into the next one, but I got to finish the other little um, greeting card thing, journal, and then um, I've got one other little thing I got to do, and then I can then I can go to the next. <coughs> I know I poked myself with a some a grass weed twig and boo, got my finger yesterday, busted that fingernail. Anyway, <laughs> yard work is is dangerous, <coughs> and I've gotten sick from it because I was. And I even wore a mask, but it doesn't matter because it was on me. I mean, it would shoot at that thing. I was covered in it. Oh, my God. My shower was, you look, it looked like five little boys we took a shower last night. Oh, my God. It was so bad. Anyway, <laughs> don't let your grass get that tall. <laughs> but I hate, I don't, I hate going out there. I'm, I'm just not going out there in 100 degree weather. It's It, it could just grow. I'm sorry. Eh. You have to wait till it's 80 or below. Because, no, it's got to be the real feel 80. I can't be 80, real feel 98. Nope. Uh-uh. So, anyway, <laughs> I got, I got, you know, a good portion of it done in front of the trailer. And then, you know, half of the barn. And so, now, I got to go get gas. So, I got to go to town today and get gas. Um, it looks like the doctor did call in the um, some, uh, one refill. I don't know. It might only be 10 pills. I don't know how many pills it doesn't say. To Walmart for me. Um, so thank God that he gave me a break. So I might actually get some more sleep tonight. Cause I, mean, I got sleep because I was so tired yesterday. <laughs> but I'm still so tired from the past week that I've not slept at all hardly. So anyway, I know enough. Wah, 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 wah. Oh my gosh, I know. Ooh, we got gold, gold, gold. We got some. Yep. Oh, oh, and I've got some bigger flowers like that and and a big oh man i know and then this lets me play with the that gold paper that i have from that other pad oh yep and then like i said this is gonna go i'm gonna put that in my in the um dragonfly thing even though it's anyway my dragonfly is gonna be a friendship dragonfly thing so it's just because it's just gonna have all different kinds of dragonflies because i love dragonflies so all right, well, I will see y'all in the next video. So lots of kisses, lots of love. Y'all have a great day and a blessed day. And like I said, um, sorry for my long rant, but it was quite the crazy ordeal, okay? <laughs> I mean, I can't believe. I'm going to have to tear that off right now. But look, I mean, we have all of this that we could. Oh, Lord, look how good that tissue is. Ay, 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 ay. So anyway, yeah, going to have some fun playing with that stuff. So I will see y'all in the next video. So, um... Let me run to town, <laughs> get this over with again, and I'll see y'all on the next video. Bye, guys.